are saying tomorrow's Friday the 13th. Yes. And some rain. You know, but only for part of the day. Silver lining, that's what we need. You know, and then we'll have sunshine in the afternoon okay. and maybe temperatures near 70 degrees. Nice, so, perfect. Know, wait till everybody sees the 70 forecast because again, tomorrow we're looking really good. Outside right now, not so much the case because the clouds are already starting to roll in. This is our neighborhood network. Usually you should be overlooking the wonderful Philadelphia city skyline. But again, right now, low hanging clouds, a little bit foggy for us, some limited visibilities maybe already at this point. Overall, we're not really going to see a ton of rain right now, but as we go through the overnight hours, showers will start to move on in. They'll become heaviest right in time for the morning commute tomorrow. And then we'll actually see some of that clear out as our cold front brings in a chance for some breezy conditions a little bit later on in the day. High temperatures for the last few afternoons started out this week, or I should say over the weekend anyway, a little bit chilly. Sunday, though, we got all the way up to the 60s. We were talking about temperatures that were even in the 70s early in the work week. And our high temperatures earlier today stayed above average. Typically, we should be looking at highs right around 51 or so degrees. Here in the city this afternoon, we climbed all the way up to 60. Now, Trenton was a little bit closer to seasonal at 52, but you see Millville 58, Wilmington feeling pretty comfortable, and even up to the Lehigh Valley as well. Not all that bad. Now, temperatures did hover in the 40s in the higher elevations of the Pocono Mountains because it was cloudy and a little bit breezy at times there. Overall, though, even though our temperatures were up into the 60s, we've started to dip a little bit, but still not too bad. Right now, we've dropped to 49 here in the city. We're talking about 50s down towards Wilmington, also Millville, Wildwood, Atlantic City, high 40s and low 50s out there for the time being. Overall, through the overnight hours tonight, yes, we've dropped down into the 40s, but we actually could see these temperatures maybe take an uptick or two, calling it in the low 50s through most of the overnight hours tonight. So it's a mild night for us. The rain, though, again, going to start to pick up as we head through the overnight and into the early morning hours then on Friday. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. Storm scan three, for the most part, we're pretty much dry in many areas, but we are seeing some shower activity across the Lehigh Valley up into Carbon and Monroe County as well, and a couple of pockets there even of maybe some heavier downpours even as early as tonight. The bigger chance for rain, the heavier showers, the really kind of better chance for thunderstorm activity. That's still out to our west. You're seeing shower and thunderstorm activity all the way from southwestern Pennsylvania through parts of West Virginia into Kentucky, Tennessee, and some severe weather chances here tonight down across southern parts of Arkansas as well. The actual cold front still draped out towards Chicago and St. Louis. So all this precip that we're seeing out in front of that, that's all in between the warm and cold fronts and what we like to call the warm sector. And then that cold front itself will roll through. And when that happens, that's when our winds will start to pick up Friday afternoon. Let's talk a little bit about tomorrow morning, though. This is Friday morning, 6 a.m. Showers are out there across the western half of the suburbs, talking about temperatures that are pretty mild in the 50s. That morning drive, 6, 7, 8, 9 o'clock. Best chance prime time for those heavier downpours mixing in with, again, maybe a rumble of thunder as we head through the afternoon hours. Then we could see maybe a couple of breaks of sunshine here or there. Temperatures high 60s, low 70s for us across the I-95 corridor. And then with the cold front across the shore points, maybe a couple of extra showers there in the early afternoon as well. But really, I think we actually should see Again, a pretty good chance for maybe a few breaks of sunshine on the back side of the front. Yes, the winds really pick up. Temperatures will start to drop off a little bit. Wind gusts will be a uh, prime time factor for us on Friday afternoon, gusting as high as 30 to 35, even close to 40 miles an hour at times tomorrow. After the 70s on Friday, we're talking about highs that are pretty seasonal Saturday and Sunday there in the 50s. Quick drop into the 40s to start our new work week on Monday. And after our chances for rain tomorrow morning and again on Saturday night into Sunday morning, next best chance for shower comes on Tuesday. So I know that a lot of St. Patrick's Day activities have been canceled, guys. But if you are planning on doing anything, the green umbrella. Okay. All right. Good. Good Thank you.